UAB neurosurgeon Kristen Riley implanted a new type of electrical stimulator to control seizures in patients with epilepsy on Wednesday, June 18th. The first patient was a 24-year-old woman from central Alabama. It was the first use of the RNS system by Neuropace in the southeast since the device gained FDA approval. RNS stands for Responsive Neurostimulation. It's designed to record patients' specific brain activity, um, to recognize patterns in their brain activity, recognize patterns that are associated with seizures, and deliver stimulation in order to help modulate and control their seizures. The generator, about the size of a flash drive, is implanted in a patient's skull. Electrodes are placed at the locations in a patient's brain known to cause seizures. They record brain activity and deliver a burst of electrical stimulation when that activity indicates an impending seizure. This is not a treatment that will cure epilepsy. This is a treatment that will help control seizures in a very um, specific group of patients who are otherwise not candidates for surgery. Um, I don't expect too many patients to become seizure free, but if we can decrease their seizures by even half, it can make huge improvements in their, in their lives. RNS is for a relatively small group of epilepsy patients for whom other treatments are ineffective. This device is specifically aimed for, for our most um, challenging patients, those patients who have refractory epilepsy, who unfortunately have not been able to have their seizures controlled with medication, nor are they candidates for surgery to resect or actually cut out the area of seizure focus. RNS won't stop seizures immediately. It takes time for the patterns of brain activity that lead to seizures to be recognized and the device programmed to respond. There is good clinical data from, uh, from the research studies that um, many patients will respond and have significant reduction in their seizures but very few patients become completely controlled, at least in the beginning.